After two days of jury selection, testimony got underway today in the trial of the man accused of fatally shooting New Orleans police officer Marcus McNeil back in 2017. The jury today heard opening statements and the first prosecution witness and investigative reporter Mike Perlstein was in the courtroom and he brings us dramatic new information about the case. The first witness in the first degree murder trial of accused cop killer Darren Bridges was Lieutenant Ray Jones, the supervisor of slain police officer Marcus McNeil. Despite his 24 years of experience in some of New Orleans' toughest neighborhoods, he had to stop to compose himself when testifying about the officer and friend known by everyone as Milk Dud. The high stakes and drama of this trial is evident in the number of New Orleans police officers who have stopped by to listen in, including this morning, Police Chief Sean Ferguson. It was October 13th, 2017, when McNeil and other members of the 7th District Task Force were patrolling a drug hotspot in New Orleans East and spotted Bridges with a backpack, acting suspiciously. When McNeil approached him, he ran, according to the opening statement delivered by District Attorney Jason Williams. In the ensuing scuffle, McNeil used his taser. That's when Bridges pulled out a gun and shot the officer twice, Williams said. Then Williams added a detail that had never before been disclosed. There was a third shot. Quote, he put a gun to his head and pulled the trigger one more time. That changed everything, Williams told the jury. Defense attorney Christian Bonin offered a different version in his opening statement. He said Bridges was trying to walk home and the officers were looking for another man. They instead went after his client. Bridges then found himself being grabbed, tased in the back, then pinned against a car. Bonin told the jury, quote, the facts are going to show that he tried to avoid this conflict. Bridges himself was shot by another responding officer. A trail of blood led officers to Bridges' apartment, where the officers found a 9mm handgun hidden in a boot, as well as a backpack full of drugs and syringes packaged to be sold on the street, according to testimony from several of McNeil's fellow officers. More officers are expected to testify tomorrow. Mike Pearlstein, Eyewitness News.